What is up guys? My name is Critfer or Chris. Today we're working on the XT250. So pretty much one of the things that we need to do is upgrade this headlight. Now I've seen a ton of people upgrade this the wrong way. This is a reflector style headlight. Do not put an LED or HID in this. Even if you see something from like Cyclops LED, uh, don't put their shit in there. I, I hate companies that market that as a drop-in replacement. It's not. It's going to blind other people and it does not provide a proper cutoff for this headlight. A halogen only or you have to do a projector retrofit. If you don't do a projector retrofit, stick with halogen. So. Because I'm not doing a projector uh, retrofit, at least at this time, we're going with these Hella H4 replacements. This is a proper drop-in right here. This, I believe, is 50 watts, which I believe that's 50 watts as well. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, this is 55. I'm pretty sure this is 55 as well. Um, pretty much, I am choosing amber because A, it's legal where I live, and B, where I live, there's a lot of fog, there's a lot of dust and dirt that gets kicked up on some of the dirt roads that I ride on. So this is going to cut through that a lot better than the kind of old school, uh, probably 3800K halogen here. And this is going to be much more piss yellow. And it, I love, I love that look. Plus, it, you know, it, it looks good. It's going to cut through in the environment that I live in Ooh, there we go all right so this is super easy to get off like i said just take these off they're little hex nuts uh or hex keys oh it will not focus that's annoying um i believe this is a t30 hex um i actually just had to grab from my random bin of hex keys um and then all you have to do is there's just one here, one on the other side, and then there's some clips here, which you can see. You just pull those out and pop on out. It's super, super easy, super quick. And um, and then all you have to do is take these out. I don't know if these are the same size. It doesn't look like it. Nope. We need something smaller. Um, so that's probably like a T20 or something, uh, but I'll tell you when I get to it. Alrighty, I rearranged some stuff so I could uh, put my shop lights on here because the lighting in the garage is awful. Pretty much you just take these little bolts off, um, Take comes off with a uh, T25 and then you reveal this dust boot, but you don't have to touch that. Again, I see a lot of people modifying these because they use LEDs. Again, don't use LEDs. I'm gonna, at the end of this video, I'm gonna explain why you can't use LEDs or HIDs without proper modification. And just putting in and doing modification to this dust boot is not the proper modification. But pretty much all you gotta do is unplug this. It's extremely tight. Holy crap. Hold up. I'm gonna have to use two hands, I think. Um, also, this, this isn't gonna just drop. It does have this little... Uh, it looks like bracket or something that holds it onto the bars right in here so you can just move it down But it's not gonna like fall right onto the fender so you don't have to worry about that But let me put the camera down unplug this and uh, get the old bulb out It should be really really easy to do this super easy job if I wasn't filming this could easily be a five-minute job that anyone can do Okay, and with a little tug I found it worked best putting a um, it's a little flap is a little annoying <laughs> but i found it best um to use one hand to pull on here the other to really give it a tight squeeze here so this housing doesn't move while you're trying to pull this off and then all you're going to do is take this dust boot off there's a little lip right down here that you're just going to pull up on and loosen and there we go came off nice and easy um we're gonna move that out of the way, and then all you're gonna do is twist this counterclockwise. I don't believe I have to squeeze anything. Nope. And that comes off, and then the bulb should just come out, just like that. 
Alrighty, and here is the new bulb unpackaged. Again, grip down below the actual bulb, and we're just gonna stick it on in here. Again, it should just slide in with no issues. Boom, just like that. Super simple. You're gonna put the retaining clip back on just as you took it off. I probably should have paid attention to how this lines up, but I'm pretty sure it only goes one way. I might need two hands for this. That looks like it's on there correctly. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna use two hands, make sure it's on here correctly. Yeah, so the, I put the dust cover back on, but there's a little tabs along here. You can see these, there's a little protruding spot on the retaining clip and the headlight. You just push those down and twist it clockwise and it fits right back on. And then you just squeeze this back on, it goes back on, it's nice and tight putting some pretty good pressure on there and then you literally just plug it back in i probably should have plugged it back in just to make sure it actually works prior to actually uh doing that but let's uh put that up a little bit there we go. and yep it works there camera does not look that yellow but uh Boom, high beam works. I'll show you a proper video of it, a, a, of a comparison between this and the old one when we put this all back together. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put this all back together off camera and then I'll show you a comparison and then I'll explain why uh, LED won't work in more detail. Alrighty, I know it doesn't look like it's different on the camera, um, but yeah, you can uh, you can see the amber all along here in person, which is really cool. But uh, that looks so cool. All right, hold up. Got to turn this biatch on. All right. Moment of truth. That's a big difference. Still has a proper cutoff and everything. It definitely is brighter. It doesn't look yellow in the camera at all. 